What the? F Where did that just come from? Just putting them all together in a pool for them to get listed. Once they're listed on there, then the fish can bite. Once the fish bite, then you can. And pots. Uh, Xanthosoma crop is growing low. Yeah, I guess yeah. a couple to start on it. Yep. I'll take you serendipity and get started on it. <laughs> At the moment that I'm looking the most perplexed. <laughs> what are you working on today? I'm doing the story thing. Oh. You're doing this whole bench? Dragon scales. <laughs> gonna mess with the mafia? <laughs> what did you say about my grandmother's lasagna, huh? <laughs> So, look at this beauty. This is our philodendron maximum. These leaves are only about half the size that they actually can reach to. But so, our maximum down in here is floriferous. And I mean, wow, they are just packed with inflorescences waiting to burst. So we have one, two, three, four that are really close. You can see they've swollen probably another couple days. Um, and then they'll open. So I'll be here and try to either cross pollinate it or at least collect the pollen so we could use in a later cross. But I mean, you can also see how they're packed in here. One, two, there's probably two more in, the, in that cluster waiting to burst and open and form. It's just so cool. Could you imagine the possibilities of what we could do if we could cross this philodendron maximum with something insane and get a completely new philodendron? That would be wild. So stay tuned. All right, so update. This is the philodendron radiatum inflorescence that I had uh, removed the outside of the spathe and I had attempted a cross pollination. Um, so right now it does look like it's, you know, a little moldy. That's natural. The greenhouse is a very humid environment. This resin that the inflorescence excretes is filled with sugars. So it's not unheard of that, you know, this would become moldy as the mold basically feeds on the top layer of everything there. But what we want to pay attention to in the upcoming weeks is that this bottom part where the female flowers were, if they were pollinated, um, it will stay attached, it won't die and fall off, and it'll start to swell up. So it's been, what, seven, maybe nine days since mm -hmm. we did this. So I am pretty hopeful that it took because in nine days, uh, typically you would expect that if the inflorescence um, hadn't been successfully pollinated, it would have fallen off already. So the fact that it hasn't fallen off yet makes me really hopeful that we could have potentially uh, cross-pollinated it. And so stay tuned and yeah, we'll keep you updated and let you know if we actually got any hybrid filled engines from it. So, woo! All right, so. This is my resident Dracaena masoniana, used to be known as Sansevieria masoniana, uh, whale fin or shark fin. So 
This massive clump is actually in a 14 inch pot with no soil in it. It hasn't had soil for probably three years now. It lives bare root in there and basically just gets water whenever it wants. But so you can see peeking up here is a huge flower stalk. An inflorescence filled with all these intricate individual blooms. And so what will happen, uh, the flower spike actually starts all the way down there, is that the flowers open in succession. So they'll start to open at the bottom while the top ones are still forming. And then over the next couple days, it'll go through phases and it'll open here and then they'll close and then these will open and then close and then open and close until all of the flowers on the stalk eventually bloom. So it doesn't have any scent right now. Um, I will come back tonight to attempt to cross pollinate it with some other Dracaena I have blooming. But if you were here at night, the fragrance that these flowers has is incredibly intense, like the sweetest, strongest honeysuckle uh, you've ever smelled. It, it really is amazing. But I just love uh, the shape of these flowers. Everything about this plant, I love this plant. Okay, so if you can see in front of me, there are a lot of flower spikes coming from these Dracaena, which were formerly classified as Sansevieria. So this one directly in front of me, this is Dracaena fernwood. Uh, I love this plant, super durable, super unique shape, and I mean, look at all these flower spikes they're putting out. So this one with the uh, shark fin or whale's tail that I was talking about in the other video, uh, they will open in segments by area on the inflorescence. So they'll all open down here at once and then close and then here open, close, open, close, working its way up. With the fern wood, what they do is they put out at each individual apex a cluster of five or six flowers and the entire inflorescence will open one of those flowers from each of those areas at a time then close and then the next one opens and then closes so that the entire inflorescence up and down has at least some flowers open uh, at the same time for the next for the next successive nights so a really interesting mechanism i don't know why different dracaenas would uh, function this way with their flowers um, i'm sure it has something to do with their pollinators uh, but it's pretty cool to see the differences there. And so this is the inflorescence uh, that has yet to open any of them. They're still developing. So then this is also a fernwood here, fernwood here. But then we have an inflorescence on a... Uh, this guy was a Sansevieria cylindrica, which is now a Dracaena angolensis. Um, so we have flowers here that are spent. It looks like they probably opened and they were fresh yesterday. Um, and so now they're done and there are new ones forming. Um, as well as we have another fernwood here. And then I have all different blooms starting. There's a bloom down here. This is Whitney, Dracaena Whitney. So it's really exciting that uh, you've probably seen videos in the past of me attempting uh, pollination, cross-pollination, uh, hybridization with philodendrons or anthuriums, but I do not care. Give me any plant and I will breed it. So we're going to take and we're going to try and do some cool Dracaena hybrids. So stay tuned and we'll keep you updated because uh, really exciting. I'll be back here tonight and I'll bathe in the fragrance of this honeydew scent. That's not ruined. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, the truck. <laughs> like he didn't even, yeah, he didn't even notice that. Could summarize your time here. In two words, Courtney, I'm talking to you. Courtney, don't ignore me. Success. And, and, and. Success. That's like all that. it is. I like that. Here, you guys can go right ahead. Courtney, You're still in I, line, I need you to give me some, some no words of wisdom. Please, no please. Paparazzi, please. This Yo, is going to sell for Having a little problem. Got the shirt from Goodwill a couple days ago. Yeah. I smell like an old lady right now. So, yeah, Gertrude. Okay. Why did you do that? Honey's <laughs> 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 like, let me clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh.
to all of you. You guys have been very close to me and to Courtney. I know that. I have food in my mouth. <laughs> Give me one second. But, yeah, I'm going to miss you guys. You guys have all taught me so much, and some of you are new here. But just a little bit of time that I spent with you guys. You guys are awesome. I know I've met you before, so. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys have been my family for a while now, and I appreciate all of you, all the things you've taught me. I feel like I've grown. Um, I've gone through a lot of hard stuff in my life while being here, and you guys have been there for me. So, I don't know. I can't thank you guys enough, and hopefully the job just grows from here. I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's not really. <laughs> we just nowhere, nowhere but up from here. So. I will. No. <laughs> you do look a little bit taller. You have yeah. yeah. I have grown. Yeah. I'm definitely going to take some. Did you get that? Thank you to this week's vlog. Remember to go to GabriellaPlants.com and we have thousands of plants ready for you, shipped to you from our greenhouse to your house. And don't forget to subscribe!